this is what you're looking at is the uh, first of two KA band 35 gigahertz Doppler weather radars. Um, not specifically for weather, as well as uh, clear air work and other other uh, atmospheric condition events with wind turbulence around air, uh, wind turbine generators, things like this. But uh, high resolution, better than an order of magnitude uh, in sensitivity and, and uh, resolution than anything that's in a mobile radar environment currently. We're also fully coherent. The transmitter is uh, not a magnetron-based system. It's a traveling wave tube amplifier, which allows us to do pulse compression work in which we engineer the pulse to go out to the target rather than just being confined to a regular pulse Doppler type system to uh, resolve target uh, characteristics. So what you're looking at is uh, the antenna rotating right now and just displaying a, a current weather event of a gust front that went through the system uh, about a week ago. And uh, as you see it deployed, it's standing on its hydraulic, uh, hydraulically controlled leveling system legs, uh, which are adjusted by an operator watching a display of uh, uh, pitch roll and yaw sensor inside the cab that also registers true heading of the vehicle and is magnetically corrected uh, given the GPS information and the magnetic deviation because of the bed of the, of the truck itself. It's correlated with that to produce the actual true heading of the, of the, of the truck. Uh, other than that, we can deploy uh, in motion as well for tornado genesis work or severe storm chasing uh, where we don't sit down the legs. Uh, we, we can travel down the highway and, and run the radar for those type of events. The legs are put out for high wind events like landfalling hurricanes or other measurements where we need a stable platform and a level radar horizon. So, uh, this is again the first of its kind. The, the uh, twin sister will be uh, ready in about another 10 months or so and uh, hopefully we'll have a, a dual Doppler capability with eventually real-time communication between the two so we can do full storm scale relative motions in real time. Another first for this one is we intend to cover the entire do the, the pedestal system with a radome. More than just an aperture cover on the dish, we'll put a full radome cover over the entire pedestal system. That'll get us to uh, hurricane force wind loads and also protect us from small to mid-sized hail.